Hey there, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. In this video, I am going to go over importing blogs into your personal WordPress blog list. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So basically, just go into Tools, uh, Options, no, sorry, Tools, uh, Personal WordPress Blogs, and you'll see uh, this is your basic uh, WordPress blog form that I created, but I added an import button. Uh, basically, all you have to do is click Import, and then it'll, it'll tell you the structure, right? Uh, URL, username, and password. Click OK. So now it's going to ask for your, your text file that points to your blogs, but I, I need to create it. So I'm going to click New and call it Text Document, and I'll just call it Blogs. And then I need to edit it. So I'll just edit it. Now, uh, I'm just going to do a quick example. The, the blog1.com comma user comma pass I'm just gonna copy and paste it and just change the URL and that's pretty much the standard format that you would expect right so I'll just save out of that and this time now I'm gonna click open and blog import is complete so now that's it that's all you gotta do for uh, importing blogs this should make a lot of people's lives easier, especially if they purchase uh, blog lists from wherever. Black Hat World, you can usually find guys that are selling blog lists that uh, you can import. And that's it for that. Uh, that's importing blogs into your personal WordPress blog list. Also, you can uh, control click all of them and just delete them as well. Okay, one other thing I wanted to go over uh, for this video was um, the structure of how the blogs are imported. You'll see that when it's imported, you get the HTTP www uh, showing, and yet in the uh, the site list where you see the actual blogs, that stuff is cut off. That is for display purposes only. It is not how Article Marketing Robot would treat the blog when it's submitting or signing up. Um, the blog would be treated with the HTTP www. So the real URL that you import is the URL that it uses. This is for this part over here under URL is for display purposes only. And uh, I'll, I'll do another uh, a quick tip. When adding a blog, um, do not add any other details other than the blog location. So if you add, let's say, blog.com dash WordPress admin Dot PHP because I've seen guys do this and then they wonder why it fails. Do not add this part. Add only the URL of the home page of the blog. A article Marketing Robot will figure out the rest. This stuff here is not required, so do not add it. So that's what I wanted to, that's the uh, extra stuff I wanted to tell you. Uh, all right, thanks, bye.